All right, you guys, welcome back to Raddell Planting. So today, ladies and gentlemen, is all about propagation. I want to begin this video by preparing my soil. Let's begin. I use, I use worm casting soil and it's really thick. This is the worm casting soil. And it has nothing, it's just all soil. Therefore, I want to make sure my soil is nice and loose and fluffy for my roots. Yeah, it's okay. It's got my little twigs. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be potting these propagation babies at this time. Not every, not all of them. I'm going to pick out the good ones. This is a good one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Mm. So it looks like we can plant all three of these together. First, let me rinse them off. The other two are kind of in that soil, but that's okay. They'll perk up eventually. And with them being under soil, that'll help them get stronger too. All this grew. Oh, there's two plants.
Excuse me. God bless me. What is going on here? <laughs> she, if I plant it like this, she'll be in the soil. If I plant it this way, these will be in the soil. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to sacrifice. Or maybe I'll just lean it up like that. <laughs> Funny. I'll put it in the soil. Can I put it sideways like this? What is going on with this plant? Uh, that's part of the reason why I repotted, um, excuse me, clipped down this plant is because the stems were just growing out of control. So this plant was on the verge of dying. That's why all the leaves look as, are, you know, stained with some type of disinfect, some type of concern, bugs, of course. You know, all those, all these stems will be clipped eventually. However, I'm just using the stems for new growth mm -hmm. hmm looks like I have all just stems here So here's what I'll do. And see, I'll clip those stems eventually.
It's just all stem. Oh, darn, there's a root there. I'm going to sacrifice it. I have some here. So, so it does fit in the pot. She's a cutie with her three stems. She's got three stems in there. Now, the pothos plants. Ooh, she gave us a little color. This plant was infected as well. See? Mm. But the roots are swell. One, two, three, one, two, three. Mm. Obvious decision. Three in each pot. Or should I cook them? No. Because they grow like you wouldn't believe. So I don't need to. do that again. I just want to make sure that my roots are covered.
I'm going to do something that I had no intentions on doing. I'm going to repot my orchid plants. So at this time, I'm going to pot, repot my orchid plant. This is the original pot from the store. I'm not going to unrattle her or anything. I'm just going to place her into a bigger pot. Oh no. I want to use Orchid Potting Mix. Ooh, there she goes. And it looks like she could have stayed in there for some more time. I recently watered her. Look at the roots and uh, what is that moss I don't know what that is but as I stated I don't want to mess with anything I'm brand new super brand new with the orchid plant okay when I first got this plant she was full of flowers and as soon as I watered her they all died so I'm like oh my gosh However, she's still green. She's lost about four leaves. And she's grown these two. So we'll see. I love these transparent pots. Love them. Now, I'm not sure. Am I supposed to cover those roots? I don't know. <laughs> but you know, the monsteria grows like that. Her roots, her aerial roots go crazy. And that kind of looks like I should cut, clip it, but I don't know. I'm going to leave her alone. This is all I'm going to do. A little orchid plant. To be continued.
Well, thank you so much for watching Ragdown Planting. Over now.